Hello everybody, Rocky Mountain Figures here. Today is the day we are finally going to cap up this series with the finale. And of course the finale being my top 10 action figures of 2020. Stepping up from the top 5 mark. And speaking of, if you guys haven't done so already, please make sure and go back and watch the uh, first 4 episodes of the series. Which were top 5 Marvel Legends of 2020, top 5 Black Series of 2020, the top 5 female figures of 2020 and the top 5 exclusives of 2020 which was the most recent one before we get into the honorable mentions let's just kick out the rules real quick the rules are of course I have to have bought the figures in 2020 and of course the final rule this is all just my opinion so without further ado let's show off my honorable mentions I got 10 figures on here here they are. Unfortunately, they couldn't make it to the top 10. This was a really, really hard decision as it is every year. Every year it gets harder and harder to decide on what's the best or what's the top 10. And there's a couple figures on here that I am just really sad to be pushing back, such as the Mandalorian figure and Doctor Doom is another good one as well. And of course, any other figures that you see in front of you and that I did not include in this whole setup right here. I probably love very much because to be fair I do not get bad figures uh, if I don't like a figure from like promotional images or I know a figure is gonna be bad then I don't pick it up so I really do not have any bad figures I always get the good figures so I love every single figure but in terms of my top 10 I don't love them as much so let's stop talking about these figures and let's get to the top 10 and at the number 10 spot in my top 10 action figures of 2020 to my surprise this figure was really really spectacular i really did enjoy the sculpt and the accessories on this figure it is the marvel legends target exclusive storm figure this figure was a very big surprise i managed to order it before it flooded the stores because let's be honest i think hasbro uh went a little bit cray cray on the stock on this two pack but I did order it and I was very very pleased with the figure and of course the sculpting on the head sculpt and uh, the accessories that came with her because she has basically two different looks you're basically getting two in one right here well actually wait that doesn't make sense because this is a two pack so you are getting two when it pertains to storm exclusively you basically get a two in one so you can have her in a stoic look and then you can have her in a charged up ready to battle look which is what I have here now and it is awesome and the articulation for a female figure is also really really good I just truly love this figure this is probably the best storm figure from Hasbro that we have gotten so without further ado let's move on to my number nine spot and at the number nine spot in my top 10 action figures of 2020 here I have the GI Joe classified series Red Ninjas. These figures were a very, very, very strong army builder and a great addition to G.I. Joe Collector's collection. This is one of the army builders this year that kind of brought me back to, well, army building. I've never really been an army builder uh, just because, well, I'm cheap and, uh, and I can only stand just getting like one of the same figure. Uh, even if it's an army builder, but I just could not pass this up. I had to order three red ninjas to see what it was like. And man, oh man, I love these guys. The articulation is amazing because of course it came from the Snake Eyes body mode. And the accessories were just, mwah, they were amazing, especially for uh, the ninja type character. And the sculpting work is equally stellar as well. This is just a great army builder overall, and even if you're not a G.I. Joe collector, I highly recommend this for your army building needs. Anyway, let's get to the number 8 spot. And at the number 8 spot, here I have the Marvel Legends Sony Movie Venom figure. I mean, I was really surprised that Hasbro even had the balls to make this figure, let alone on this particular body mode which is all brand new sculpt and is probably one of the best body molds we've seen for the year 
which is probably what impressed collectors the most is that this figure is packed with articulation and besides that this figure is a great representation of Eddie Brock aka Venom from the Venom movie now the reason why it's lower on the list despite other people having it higher on the list is because I believe that when it comes to a figure you also have to uh, recognize the source material that the figure is based on do you like it yes or no I consider that to be a big factor when uh, you know rating a figure and after I got the figure I immediately watched the Venom movie to uh, get some ideas for posing and uh, well let's just say I was uh, disappointed I mean this figure the source material it's based on wasn't very good so for me it kind of dumbs it down you know just a little bit though uh, it's still on my top 10 which is very good but you know I feel like people are kind of missing that point I'm not trying to prove anything here this is still my opinion all right anyway let's just uh, move on to the next spot which is uh, kind of forgot already <laughs> but let's just move on and at the next spot in my list here we have the Star Wars Black Series Ahsoka Tano figure now this figure is not on my list just because we are finally getting a Clone Wars Ahsoka figure from Black Series but it's on here because it has really good articulation sculpt and accessories it has a modest amount of accessories which is uh, her two lightsabers and only her two lightsabers but that's all you really need plus the saber part of the lightsabers is detachable so you know a little bit more variety there the sculpting work is awesome I love what they did where they kind of brought the animated character into the real world and then made a figure based off of that that way it fits in more well with their black series collection and the articulation is really really good despite it being a female figure this figure overall is amazing I, I really love the character of Ahsoka and uh, this figure is a great representation of her all right let's get to the next spot and at the number six spot here I have the NECA King Kong figure now this figure was originally at the number seven spot but this video is being recorded post Godzilla versus Kong trailer and as soon as I saw the trailer I started playing with this figure <laughs> taking pictures of it and uh, I guess you could say appreciating it more <laughs> so I have a little bit more love for this figure now that I saw the trailer and had a little bit more fun with it had a little bit more time with it which I'm very happy that I did this is an excellent figure of course the sculpting work is probably the one of the best sculpting works on any figure on this top 10 list NECA always kills it with the sculpting I love that they even added the scratches to his face and his chest and his arms they're just awesome and the articulation is also really really good and the accessories are just outstanding this is another situation where you can basically have them in two different looks and uh, enough said this figure is absolutely amazing also just speaking facts here Kong is gonna win in the movie I'm, I'm just saying dude. I have this theory which to be fair I have seen people post this on social media but I just want to clarify that even though I never posted it I came up with this theory first I came up with the theory so long ago when the movie was announced so I think Kong is gonna win not only because I'm a bigger fan of Kong but also because he's just Kong he's not King Kong yet so I feel like this is the movie that's gonna show him fight Godzilla who's currently the king of the monsters he's gonna defeat Godzilla and claim his full title King Kong and that's gonna be this title of the sequel which hopefully we'll get after this movie that is my theory and honestly I'm sticking by it that's probably the most plausible theory ever I'm glad other people share the same theory as me though but to be real though um, I, I'm just glad because you know Team Kong so anyway let's get to the top five and beginning the top five in this top ten list here I have the Marvel Legends Deluxe War Machine figure now I was really on the hunt for this figure uh, multiple actually as I was getting a couple for some fellow YouTube friends of mine such as Wallop and Web Snapper so Noah if you're watching this hope you are liking your War Machine figure I hope it came out well anyway let's get into why I love this figure 
which there are so many reasons to love this figure. First of all, the pinless technology. It was probably one of my first figures where I had the experience of testing out the pinless technology and having it in hand. It looked better than I can imagine. It's really, really good. And of course, since this is a deluxe figure, the accessories are just outstanding. It doesn't just come with an immense amount of accessories, it comes with an immense amount of great accessories, and that is to be commended. And also the articulation is really, really good. It uses the same body mold from the 80th anniversary Iron Man, which is also a really, really good figure. So I really am happy that Hasbro decided to go that route. I'm pretty sure they would have knocked it out of the ballpark if they made a new body mold for War Machine. But you know, like they always say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And I think the last thing I love about it more than anything else on this list so far is the sculpting work. The sculpting work is outstanding. It looks like it jumps straight out of the comic books. All right, without further ado, let's get into our number four spot. And at the number four spot, a figure that I was very, very excited to get and be pleased about is the Star Wars Black Series Darth Vader figure. Finally, I have a near perfect representation of my favorite villain of all time in six inch action figure form. What is not to love about this figure? I mean, the articulation on it is just great. The accessories, which I think all he did came with was a lightsaber, is modest but good. The sculpting work is just wow, it just looks like it jumped right out of the screen from the Empire Strikes Back movie. And of course, the character itself and the character that this figure is supposed to represent is just very, very well done. So without further ado, let's head into the top three. And at the number three spot, here I have a character that's probably the best at making inspirational speeches. Here is the Transformers Earthrise Optimus Prime. Now, if you guys remember from way back when, my top 10 action figures of 2019 video, the Siege Optimus Prime was actually at my number one. It was my favorite figure from that year overall. And I still stand by that. I think it was a great figure, but then, you know, Hasbro likes to milk the Optimus Prime character. They released another Optimus Prime figure. It was gonna be $50, so big price markup from uh, the one previously and it was gonna come with the trailer. From what I remember, I was thinking, man, so unnecessary. We already got an awesome Optimus Prime figure. This is so, you know, this is just another cash grab. That's what I thought, because of course, every year they gotta milk the character, right? But, to my surprise, when I picked this figure up and had it in hand, I was really, really impressed. And that moment, I realized, wow, Hasbro didn't just make an Optimus Prime figure. They made an Optimus Prime figure that wasn't a cash grab. It, they actually put their time and effort into improving some things that the previous Optimus Prime didn't have, such as added articulation. And the transformation on this figure is uh, immensely smoother <laughs> than the previous Optimus Prime. Anyway, let's head into my number two spot. And getting to the number two spot on my top 10 action figures of 2020, here I have the Star Wars Black Series Storm Trooper figures. You just put them in place right here. <laughs> now, if I'm not mistaken, I got the Storm Trooper figures after I got the uh, Red Ninja figures. So I was more eager to jump into army building with these guys or at least start over again as I've already had some Storm Troopers. Uh, in the past, but there were the older molds, so uh, I wasn't really having fun with those ones. But when I picked up uh, this guy, wow, um, I had a lot of fun with uh, the Stormtrooper. Of course, it only comes with one accessory, but that's all you really need. You just need that blaster. So besides that, the articulation was very, very good. Definitely an improvement, uh, not just the range of articulation, but also the smoothness of the articulation was a big, big improvement from the last Stormtrooper body mold. And you know, that right there is amazing in and of itself. On top of that, the sculpting was really, really good. 
Uh, they even came out with the dirtier version of the Stormtrooper, which is a great option. And of course, they came with the Incinerated Trooper. All those options are great. I'm glad Hasbro is giving us uh, all these different kinds of Stormtroopers on the newer body modes too. This body mode is definitely a better fit for the Stormtroopers and it makes army building more fun. This figure is amazing. But what could be even more amazing than this? Well, let's get to the number one spot. And at the number one spot in my top 10 action figures of 2020, here we have the Marvel Legends Retro Spider-Man figure. Now, does this figure have its flaws and defects? Yes, it does. But overall, this is a spectacular figure, pun intended. Now, in my opinion, I feel like people are really honing in on the flaws of this figure and not really appreciating the greatness and the many blessings that this figure brings to us. The only real complaint that I have with this figure that I am in agreement with everyone else is the fact that this figure should have came with some pinless technology because this figure came out the exact year that technology was put out to the public and put out in a lot of other Marvel Legends figures and this figure never included it. Now the other complaint that a lot of other people had was that you know uh, the space in the neck is just a little bit too much it leaves a big gap when he's looking up and stuff. And I totally agree with that, but to be fair, it gives it more articulation, it gives it more mobility, and it's pretty avoidable. You know, you don't have to put the neck up all the time. Are you really going to leave your figure standing up posed like this, you know, with the gap showing? Really? Are you really going to do that? No, you're not going to do that. And the other complaint people had with this figure was that it supposedly didn't come with enough accessories. Really what they were complaining about was that this figure did not come with wall crawling hands. Now, if you have been a Marvel Legends collector and have collected most of the Spider-Man figures from the past five, six years, give or take, you are bound to have an extra set of wall crawling hands that you can just give to this guy. Because really, this is the end all be all Spider-Man figure for your collection. This is the one. So what better to do with those wall crawling hands than to give it to your main Spider-Man. And yes, this is the main Spider-Man figure, in my eyes at least. So yes, nonetheless, this is my favorite Spider-Man figure, my favorite Marvel Legends figure of all time, and thus, my favorite action figure of 2020. Let's get on with the conclusion to the series. And with that, that is going to be the end of this series. Honestly, I had a really good time making this series and uh, putting my time and effort into it. I hope that whoever has watched this series uh, all the way through to the end enjoyed it very, very much. I feel like I was the most creative uh, in the making of this series than I have been in recent months when it comes to uh, creating content for the channel. If you have not watched those past videos uh, in the series, I highly recommend you do. Now I know what you guys really, really want to see is that collection update video. Now I am pleased to announce that since I'm done recording this series, I am going to officially start uh, putting figures back on the shelf as right now I have them in uh, Home Depot boxes and not on the shelves right now. Just because I was putting up some new shelves and uh, redecorating my room. So it's a bit more spacious, it's uh, more organized. So uh, now I can start getting ready to, uh, to work on the figures and put them on the shelves. So I will be working on that as soon as I stop recording. So uh, that will come to you guys hopefully, uh, let's see, we're about to get into February, hopefully by March. Because I think if anything, it's going to take me at least all of February to put all the figures on the shelves because I have a lot of figures. Now another thing I wanted to announce is I know I've been really really inactive on my Rocky Mountain Figures Instagram toy photography page. So to fix that I want to at least try to post a real toy photography shot not just like you know the ones with just one color backgrounds or just you know a random post. I want to post a real toy photography shot 
at least once a week, at least every Wednesday is what I'm hoping and aiming to do. And then I'm going to take pictures or at least the one picture that I would need for the week every Sunday. So that's my plan. I did kind of start that uh, earlier this week. As I mentioned earlier when I was talking about the King Kong figure, I did take pictures with him and Godzilla on Sunday. So I should be posting that uh, on Wednesday if this which is actually gonna be today, uh, by the time you guys watch this video, right? Uh, yeah. So I should have that picture posted by now. Uh, let me know what you guys think of it in the comment section that I'll also announce it on the Rocky Mountain Figures Instagram page. And if you're not following me on my Torch Photography page, uh, make sure you go do so, links in the description below. So with that being said, I hope you guys have enjoyed this series as a whole for those who have watched it. Thank you guys again, and I'll see you guys next time. Cue the outro. Hey everybody, thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. Make sure you drop a like, leave a comment, and if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you follow me on my Instagram page at Rocky Mountain Figures where I do toy photography shots. Also, if you're in the position to help out and want some figures, make sure to visit me on eBay, OfferUp, and Macari. And if you haven't signed up with Macari yet, I'll leave a link down below specifically for that app. So that way when you sign up, you get a $5 coupon. And when you buy something with that coupon, I'll also get a coupon as well. So if you want to help out that way, links in the description below. Once again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.